Welcome, one and all, to the uh, handle cutting portion of the knife build. Okay, let's get right into it. So, this video, let me just put you guys down here, is going to be about cutting, I don't have an example, cutting the handles out of our stock on that fixture plate we made in the last video. So if you haven't seen that video, you should definitely check it out. It's full of some wonderful things about fixture making. Uh, yeah, okay, so let me show you. So this has taken me quite a while to figure out how to do this, but I had to redo the stock because it was all messed up. I love when Fusion hides all the bodies because you're a manufacturer and then it hides it and then it completely destroys all your body sections. Anyways, less complaining. So here is our stock, all right, this block here. Um, we need to make the stock 125 tall. That's pretty easy, so we're gonna face it down. Then what we're gonna do is, so face it down, we're gonna bore these holes that we can get to. Then we're gonna bore these holes that we can get to. And we're gonna leave these, these threaded holes for later. So after all this, what we'll have is this. Uh, go to the end here. We will have a plate with some holes in it, you see? We will then take said plate and we will bolt that plate onto our fixture via those holes. Um, and that's the current game plan. And let's see if we can get to that stage before we do anything else. So, go. Alright, let's blow this up. Stock loaded. Shell mill ready to go. Oh boy. Always nervous getting this close to the vice jaws. I'm very used to hitting them though. Five percent rapids because we're babies here. And I'm just gonna make sure Z height's good. We've done it again. The bore operation bit me. Oh, that's very sharp. I should definitely not be doing that. So the facing went good. There's a, you can see there's a little bit left of material before we hit the jaws. So always playing it close. Um, the bore operation, you probably need to make sure that it's doing the correct bore and the correct um, sequence. Because apparently Fusion doesn't default to uh, select the, uh, what's the word, <sighs> the correct sequence, so this kind of stuff happens. That's awesome. So I tried to do the bore under the bore that it needs to do. Good stuff. Okay, I switched up the order in bore, and I had to reverse order on both operations, so that's cool. Thanks Fusion for doing that. That makes absolutely no sense why bore would be backwards. But uh, yeah, okay, let's uh, try again. Oh yeah, I forgot about the carbide piece I left in there. I'm sure that thing's effed. Okay, that one's sort of good. I mean, sort of, not really. The plate is four thou too short. So I didn't even cut the pocket for the washers. And then I re-measured the show mill off the tool setter, and it was off by 4 thou. So, I don't know, what, what gives? So yeah, we're gonna cut another piece and try again. Okay, here's where we're at. So I've made about 10 of these things, and I can't get the Z height right for some reason. It's always 5 thou off. And trust me, I've tried different things. I'm not just sitting here cutting five, ten of them and being like, hey, the height's off every time. That would be insanity. I'm not insane. Um, you can you can tell that that I've cut a lot, a lot of plates, a lot of plates. So um, I'm kind of getting tired of it. So what I did was I said, okay, well, I'm not going to be able to get the heights necessarily right. 
but I want to at least see if the process works. So here's a stock finished. We got the holes, the fixture holes, the uh, the pivot. Oh, hold on, where's the the pivot, which is gonna obviously mount to our fixture plate like that. That has a little bit of slop in it. It's not supposed to. So I'm gonna mount this to the fixture plate. I'm gonna work on the tool paths for the handle. And we're just going to get a roll on and make sure that the system works before I spend the next couple hours trying to figure out the stock BS. So, yeah. Three tiny bolts and a dowel pin. Oh, yeah, what could go wrong? stock that's very sharp the bolts actually held so yeah let's continue on all right what's up boys it's uh the next day this is where we're at check it out so here's what we've accomplished we cut the uh lock with a uh, 132nd end mill we cut the um uh, slot in the back side. We got the ball bearing, the pivot ball cut out, the um, let's see what else. Um, yeah. What I'm gonna do is I kind of realized that I need the whole, this one right here, under here on the plate. Remember I snapped the drill bit off? So I'm gonna attempt to get that drill bit out and tap it because I would like to have that hole because I don't you probably can't see it in camera but yesterday when I was pushing this down you can see a little bit of coolant come out so we know that this is not sitting flat and there's obviously not enough pressure on this all the way down here to uh, satisfy my need to have this flat you know what I mean so yeah but other other than that this is going s sort of well I mean pretty good um, I don't know if this is gonna work long term these 532nd or these 256 uh, uh, screws for fixturing. I might have to do what we did with the blade and make little tabs and kind of do that. But uh, yeah, so we uh, we'll see. So I'm gonna take this fixture apart and then we'll we'll attempt to fix that hole. And I think I see a drill bit in there. Oh yeah. Let's see if I can knock it out. Moved and then we'll take a snapped version of that. Did it work? I think it worked. Yes, it did. Excellent. Oh, yeah. Crusty. Now that that's been fixed, we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to re-spot drill that hole. We're going to drill all the way through just to make sure that uh, the drill center and then we're going to form tap it. And all will be good, hopefully. Alright guys, uh, tap is loaded. Remedied our major screw. 
I believe we have... This is a good day for Canada. All right, next. Okay, boys, we're all set up. We now have our official third screw in there. That's all good. So now it's super, super strong. So we're gonna go ahead and bore out the uh, tapped holes. And the tapped holes are used when you flip it over. And we can reach to the backside to fixture it without any clamps. So we're gonna bore it out with this uh, 1 16th. And uh, then we're gonna form tap it, which will be uh, another scary thing, because it's 01. Aluminum's obviously pretty easy, but 256 form tap, uh, 01. We'll see how it goes. There's, there's the holes. There's one there, there's one there, and there's one there. I'm going to spot drill. I should have done this before, but I'm just going to spot drill and give them a little chamfer. And that will that's uh, easier when the form tap does this thing, because it wants to squeeze the material out. So that top chamfer will just have the, uh, the threads won't want to poke out the top. Alright boys, next is the tap. Focus. What are you doing? It's still there because the holes I bored way oversized. There's an 89 size pin. Dear God. So I gotta remake this whole thing. <laughs> oh, of course. Alright boys, welcome to day, I'm not sure. Oh, hold on. I gotta stop the copyrighted music. Alright. Welcome to day, like I said, not sure. So, I tapped those holes with the form tap. Actually went very good. I don't know if you're going to be able to see. Come on, buddy. Right there. Right where you need to focus. Alright, well you can see the idea of a thread. A blurry idea. So that went pretty decent. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, I ended up putting some dowel pin holes here, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this and, uh, uh, how does this go? I think it goes this way. So, line up the dowel pin hole so you can see, and then those holes on the back side will stick 256 screws and secure this thing nice and flat, no protruding hardware. Um, we'll only use the dowel pin to locate it, then we'll pull the pin we need to cut a bore in there and uh yeah let's uh set it up through there and this is how it looks on the front and uh, we'll pull this dowel pin because now it's located and uh, yeah we'll, we, uh, we'll literally cut all the features and there's no protruding hardware so we have full access to do the contouring and everything so that should be pretty sweet oh that looks sweet this is gonna be good all nice and lined up when I get a lathe I'm gonna start making pins so we can also like fixture, we can locate off a pin that goes in here. But this is kind of an odd size, so yeah. Anyways. Alright, here's where we're at. 
just did a uh, steep and shallow with this 3 8 to rough out a little bit of material. I messed the bores up here, but that's okay. And next is an hour long steep and shallow with a ball end mill to contour the entire thing. So we'll see how that goes. And look at this, guys. After an hour. Damn, boy, look at that. Rounded over surface just slightly. Top notch, boys. Man, look at look, look, Would you look at it? Just, just look at it. That, that is a fine piece right there. That is fine work. Yeah. Okay, let's see what we got so far. So here is the handle. We just got off the machine. Very good. Very good. Feels nice in the hand. Obviously, it's not the uh, complete done version, but it's good. The contour, that's nice. That's a high dollar nice stuff right there to have that nice contour. Um, yeah, so there's obviously major flaws, but I know what they are. The I messed the bores up, so <laughs> they're not supposed to be that big. Not a big deal. So let's see. Uh, let me grab a bearing. Try not to lose this thing, it's incredibly tiny. So this goes in this little pocket right here. Now I never even check the size because I'm just a wizard like that. But yeah, okay. So it's supposed to be a really tight fit, so we need to press it in. And I'm trying to think what I could use to press that in. figured out. Yeah. Um, it seems to have stayed. Okay, we're gonna have to work on that. So, this is gonna be our pretend pivot. That's cool. Here's our pretty much done knife. Okay, that's uh, what we got in practice. I'm just going to close it and make sure the ball bearing actually hits the detent thing. Oh, well, looks like it did. It's kind of hard to tell, obviously, because it's not sandwiched. So normally... Um, so let's bend the actual lock up. Put a slight bend in our lock here. Okay, then we're gonna take this guy. Oh, I must have forgotten something because the... Oh, I must have bent it inward slightly because it doesn't currently fit. Actually, you know what? It appears it's missing the cutout on the corner of the lock on this See, it's hitting this inner corner, right in there. It's supposed to have a cutout uh, just really tiny on this edge. And see how the, this edge is a, is a square, right where the ball bearing is? It's not supposed to be a square. It's actually supposed to have a cut. So that's something we got to look out for. That's lock up. That's how much the blade will be hidden. So you can see it kind of hits our, see this top spacer? Well, we're actually going to, the spacers are going to have uh, divots cut into them. And I need a lathe to do that. So uh, first world problems right here. But uh, yeah, that's uh, that's the closed profile of it. That's how much will actually stick out. Try to imagine that there's another handle here. Pocket clip should be here. Not too sure about the design yet, but yeah, and then kind of annoyed about that corner. I'm gonna file it down just to give it a uh, visual. This is a uh, kind of difficult to demonstrate how it's how it's gonna be, how it's gonna look uh, folded. 
but this is kind of the best I can do. I have to hold it down because of the lock bar. But that's it in lock. I put some the uh, the uh, hardware in just for a visual. But uh, yeah, that looks looks honestly sick. <laughs> like it looks really good. Um, let me try to pick it up without dropping the hardware. I just have it sitting in the in there. So yeah, that's. That's what it looks like carried. It actually doesn't stick out as bad in person as I thought it would. So this is as much blade stick out as there is um, when it's in your pocket. And the clip is going to be this way. So you're going to have it down in your pocket. And like that, that's really not going to catch on anything, which is super exciting. Um, I, don't, I actually don't think there's supposed to be a hole there. That's supposed to be the, the, uh, the stop for the blade up on the shoulder. So I must have accidentally bored it out because of our... Uh, design here and uh, thought I'd show you guys uh, what it looks like folded looks uh, pretty sweet I'm just taking pictures for Instagram you know I gotta gotta give the community something to stare at on their Sunday afternoons all right boys I think this wraps up this video <laughs> Thanks for watching. Um, I'm going to work on the second prototype handle uh, just to get a feel of the second process because we haven't done one. But there's really not much more to see as far as that goes. It's going to be the same thing. Actually, the uh, upper handle is actually less complicated because there's obviously no lock on it. Um, so I'm going to work on that. And then, uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. There's a ton more stuff to do. But I just need to refine the blade process and the handle process now, and really what's left is uh, tweaking and doing all the hardware, which is going to be... I have like a splinter in my finger? Ow! All the hardware, uh, which is obviously going to take a while with no lathe. So yeah, going to have to come up with some creative solutions for some things. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, if you like the video, please subscribe, hit the bell icon, hit the like button, follow me on Instagram, do all that stuff. Um, blah, blah, blah. I'm sure you're tired of hearing, hearing it. But uh, yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. I'm pretty excited. So this is going uh, pretty swell. All right, catch you catch in the next one.